Most beginner traders are looking for high win rate strategies because they think it will yield to more profits. But reality is totally different because the highly successful traders are usually between 55 to 65 win rate because losses are a normal part of trading in fact if you don't have losses something is wrong nevertheless there are sites that sell strategies uh, with high win rate and it will attract a lot of uh, newbie traders because again of the high win rate so i will teach you how they build those strategies so at least you know how it is built and why you should not trade it. understand the allure of high win rate is very very high because psychologically it makes a lot of sense to win a lot and not lose because losing hurts a lot more than winning in fact studies has been done where the loss feeling is double the strength of the winning feeling so if you lose $100 it's the strength of that feeling is double than if you win $100 now first I want to show you that most successful traders do lose money all the time and a lot of money so let me start with this most recent this is bill ackman he's a huge uh, hedge fund manager successful guy and he just lost 400 million dollars on netflix and of course if you're a viewer of the channel you know that i love ray dalio and the losses continues to pile up for the hedge fund king ray dalio this is in 2020 he lost a lot and warren buffett uh, estimated 65 billion dollars losses so far so he is no stranger to losses finally michael berry the guy who won uh, over 1 billion dollar betting on the subprime bubble he also missed 10 times and this is an article where it shows how he missed so the takeaway is all successful traders do lose money yet still they make a lot of money but now I want to show you the most successful trader in the history of the recorded financial markets. This is Jim Simon and in 2018 a book was published about him that's called The Man Who Solved the Market. Jim Simon is a genius mathematician and he is not a trader per se, he is actually a math professor. This is an excerpt from his book, this is talking about the subprime crisis. And the excerpt says, I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's not going good. This is his partner, Brown, told Simon. You know, they endured a loss in 2000, but they came back and now they trust their models. But, you know, at this time, Simon shook his head. He didn't know if his firm could survive much more pain. He was scared if losses grew, then he could not come up with enough collateral. His idea, and this is very important, our job is to survive, not to make money. This is very important to take away. Our job as traders is to survive because you can always make another bet and uh, make up the losses. But if you are out of the market, that's it. You cannot trade anymore. You cannot make up for anything. And anyway, this is 2008. Losses piled up. This is These are hedge funds. PDT lost 600 million of Morgan Stanley's money. S&P dropped 3%, Dow fell 387. Medallion Fund, which is the hedge fund for Jim Simon, lost 1 billion, and that's 20%. And then RIEF, another very popular hedge fund, algorithmic hedge fund, lost 3 billion, which is about 10% that year. And Jim Simon at one point asked, are our models broken? Now, why do I have this page here? <laughs> because this page shows the performance of the last 30 years of the renaissance fund look at this since 1988 they have only one year in a loss which is 1989 so this panic in 2008 it is here you can see here 2008 the fund made 152 percent the average of this fund over the past 30 years not the past 30 years up to 2018 is 66 percent plus and the return after fees their fees are 44 percent which is it doesn't exist anywhere in uh, wall street and private funds it doesn't exist this is only jim simon that can charge this amount still the fund average 40 percent a year that he's been doing this consistently for the last 30 years audited there is no prediction, there is no inside information. All these algos trading all the time 
on multiple brokers on multiple platforms just to hide <laughs> the uh, the size of this fund because he's trading 10 billion dollars with leverage so if jim simon is not making on average 90 percent a year then you should expect that uh, yourself why you should follow a guy who is selling his strategy for 50 dollars a month making 90 percent a year this should immediately click and say oh, th there must be something wrong there usually the risk is hitting somewhere and if you follow that trader for enough time then they will blow up at some time but you see all these strategies and they have back testing so how they are doing that so this is multi charts and the chart is the es5 minutes these are the daily breaks this is 24 hours and i built a simple breakout strategy long only if you watch my last video about the volatility breakout this is very close strategy to that one and i optimized three variables first variable is uh, how many ATRs we will use above the open to enter the trade and then I have a profit target and a stop loss so profit target from 100 to 1500 and a stop loss from 500 to 5000 and the idea is like this if the blue line is our entry line if you put a small profit target and a big stop loss then most likely you will hit the profit target before hitting the stop loss and that's it this is the trick behind all high win rate strategies usually they are shooting for a small profit so they can hit it more often and they put a huge stop loss so they don't hit it as often and then you come up with a high win rate strategy when i optimize this value uh, we had let's see 1200 iterations so let's filter those trades so percent profitable we wanted above 90 percent and let's see so we have enjoying the video so far that's great don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the amazing content that I post on this channel. Also, it would be great if you can share the video with others so they can get the same value that you are getting. 253 strategies uh, that has a win rate above 90. So let's filter number of trades, or maybe we can go above average trade, let's say above a hundred. That should also do the trick. And uh, now we have 39 strategies. So 39 strategies, they're all profitable with at least a $100 average trade and at least 90% winning rate. So let's look at the highest win rate. So it's 96.2 and we can see the, uh, the multiplier one. So we are using the average true range without any addition or subtraction. And the win rate is 300 but the stop loss is 5000 this is 5000 to 500 so it's 10 times so here the stop loss is 10 times the profit target so this is the number of trades and largest losing trade is the stop loss which is 5000 and let's see the drawdown strategy performance is $73000 profit with $19000 drawdown and the annualized period we lost in 2008 2015 2018 and currently we are in a hundred dollar loss now if you have strategy quant x this thing even becomes a lot easier here's what i did i just picked a simple strategy to run long only on es again same thing so es five minutes and i picked one to three conditions for entry and again stop loss is required so one and a half to six and then the profit target, remember we need to be lower, so 0.25 to 3. And then um, in the ranking, I'm just only looking for 90% winning trades. And these are some of the strategies that came up. But, uh, I stopped it after 25. So of course, these are all 90% and above winning strategies. And we can look at some of them. So this one is linear regression is rising. Awesome oscillator crosses upwards. Our own indicator it crosses above our own down. The next one, MACD Ichimoku. The next one, open above Bollinger Bands. 
and open above linear regression and MACD and ADX. Of course, all of these strategies are, I would say, garbage because no robustness have been uh, tested on any of them. I just wanted to convey the concept that it's easy to build high win rate strategies. So just pick a small uh, target to hit and make the stop loss uh, a lot farther away, five to 10 times your uh, profit target. And then you will have a high win rate strategy. There is nothing wrong with building these strategies, but usually they will fail in robustness testing, most of them. There are, of course, some exceptions to the rules, but most, most of the time, uh, the strategy will fail in robustness testing. If you are struggling with building robust strategies, make sure to subscribe to the Algo Trading Masterclass waiting list as I have a full module teaching you exactly how to vet strategies for robustness. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, please do so below the video and I'll be more than happy to answer you. I do read and answer all questions sent to the channel. And if you want to take this further, have deeper questions, maybe you're looking for answers that you didn't find anywhere else, you are more than welcome to join the Discord server where we have more than 450 questions already answered in video, cataloged in a database, so it's a lot easier for you to find the answer you are looking for. As always, good luck with your trading, good luck with your investing. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.